A few months ago, I did a haul video sharing two Marc Jacobs totes that I picked up. And in today's video, I will be updating you guys on how these bags are holding up, what I think of them, and which one I prefer. So if you're interested in knowing more, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So the bags we'll be talking about today are both traveler totes. I have a size small and a mini. So the mini that I have is this leather one. This color is no longer available. However, it does still come in this size. So we'll be discussing this one. And then the other one that I have is in the size small and this is in the Jacquard fabric. So first let's start with the mini. I have this leather mini in neon green and I know it's probably messing up the lighting and all. So I'm gonna try to refrain from holding it up in every shot because I know it's gonna mess up the lighting. But what can we do? It's neon green. Um, this color is no longer available, but this bag does come in multiple colors. So they always have black. They always have a cream color. And then I have also seen this in red. They have a new brown, which is gorgeous. I think it's called argan oil. And then of course it also comes in the canvas as well. I opted for the leather version because when I saw this bag, I knew it would be something I want to carry on a daily basis. And so that's what I use this bag for. I typically, I mean, I don't carry any bag every day. <laughs> Let's be clear, I have a lot of bags and so I do switch my bags out. But for me, this is an everyday casual type bag. So I typically will carry this to work. I carry it when I am going shopping, like at a mall or somewhere or going to the grocery store. I take it to pick up my kids. For me, it is the perfect size for those types of daily things. I do not view this bag as a dressy bag. I've never taken it on a dressy occasion, um, but I have taken it to like a casual lunch before, but not to a date. So in my opinion, this is the perfect size for day-to-day -day use. Now I do have mine in the leather and initially I was a bit concerned about color transfer because it is so light. And I will show you guys some close-ups so you can see, but this bag still looks pretty, pretty great, especially based on the fact that I have carried this bag a ton. Since I've gotten it, I've carried it quite a bit and I have not babied this bag at all. Unfortunately, this bag has hit the floor. I don't typically like to put my bags on the floor, but I will tell you there's been multiple times that this bag has been on the floor of my car, unfortunately. <laughs> and i have not had any issues i also have worn this bag a lot with jeans which can be horrible to your light color handbags but i have to say i don't have much issue with color transfer i also want to mention that when i initially unboxed this bag with you guys i told you that i was going to treat it with a leather treatment just because of the light color i wanted to help prevent color transfer well i could not find my leather treatment <laughs> And so I didn't treat it. I just carried it as is. So this bag is not treated. This is just how it has worn. So I'm gonna show you guys close up. So as you can see, I don't really have any color transfer on the front. However, on the back, I do have a tiny bit right around this patch. But honestly, I only noticed it when I was getting ready to film this video because I was critiquing it. It honestly looks really, really good. And looking at it from afar or at a regular, you know, distance, it does not look like anything has happened to this bag. And like I said, I have carried this a ton. As far as the handles, they still look really good as well. I don't have any cracking, any peeling. Same with the zipper, nothing. So to me, this bag still looks amazing. On the inside, it still looks great as well. It's leather interior, but the color, the color looks amazing. <laughs> Honestly, it really does. So I'm very impressed with that because this feels like such a soft, supple leather that I expected to get color transfer. So although I have not done this yet with this bag, I will eventually wipe it down with a baby wipe. I typically use the alcohol-free baby wipes and just wipe down my light color bags from time to time. I do have a pink Empreinte bag from Louis Vuitton that's like a light pink and I would typically wipe that one down pretty much every time I wear it not if I only wear it for one day but a lot of times when I carry that bag I'll carry it for like a week off and on so after that week or so I will wipe it down to prevent color transfer and that bag is more expensive <laughs> 
so I'm probably a little bit more careful with it. <laughs> this bag I have not wiped down at all and I feel like it looks amazing and I have not, I'm telling y'all, I have not babied this bag at all. This has been a workhorse for me. So as far as wear and tear, I think this is holding up really, really well. So moving on to the small bag. I love this thing. It is so pretty. Now this is the Jacquard version. The regular canvas version looks kind of similar, but it does not have this black trim. I believe the letters are white when it comes to this color, but um, I'll link some down below. But the Jacquard version is the one that I like, and I love the detail of the black against the tan. So that's why I picked up this version. I also think the Jacquard version is slightly sturdier than the regular canvas version, but I'm not 100% sure on that because I do not own this bag in the regular canvas. So this bag you can see is a bit bigger i will hold them up side by side so this is the small and this is the mini so for the small version i typically carry this bag when i need to carry more with me so if i'm going somewhere like for instance going to get service done on my car and i need to take some stuff with me i need to do some things while i'm there I'll carry this bag. So I will put like notebooks in here. I can put a computer in here and I'll show you guys in a minute what fits in each of these bags. But this bag to me is more of when I need to carry stuff. Now, would I take this as a travel bag? For me, probably not. Unless I was going on like a road trip somewhere and this would be in my car, but I wouldn't want to sit this underneath a plane seat because it would get dirty. I just wouldn't want this bag sitting on the floor of a plane because of the light color. Also, I think that for travel, I prefer something larger like a Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And I also prefer just like a regular tote. So this obviously cannot fit over my shoulder. I typically carry this bag with my hand or in the crook of my arm. And although it does have the shoulder strap, which comes in handy, and this can be crossbody, I wouldn't want to carry it like that on a regular basis. So as of now, when I carry this bag, I carry it handheld. And then if I need to be hands-free or if I'm doing something, I'll put it on my shoulder. But the shoulder is not really the way that I prefer to wear this bag. Hopefully that makes sense. So I have been just taking this on errands. I've taken it to work, especially if I have a little bit more that I need to carry with me to work that day. Um, that's typically what I use this bag for. Of course, I can take this to the grocery store and run errands for the kids and all. But honestly, this is not an everyday bag for me because it's too big for my lifestyle. I don't need a bag this big to carry every day. But I'm not gonna lie, once I move into this thing, I have carried it for weeks and weeks at a time because I love it. It's very comfortable, it looks chic, it goes with a lot, and it's to me, it wears pretty well even though it is a fabric bag. So I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups so you can see the wear and tear that I have. So you can see on the front of the bag, I have no wear at all. <laughs> On the back of the bag, I don't have any wear either. The only place I see wear is on the handles. I don't know, you guys are probably not gonna be able to tell on camera, but there's some little tiny bit of flyaways. And that's because this is a fabric bag. You're probably not even gonna be able to see them. And honestly, I didn't notice them until, <laughs> until I was filming this video, but just a tiny bit of flyaway that, you know, it's not peeling per se, it's just, it's just fabric. I, I really have no complaints. This bag has worn very well. Now I did treat this bag and I just scotch guarded it. So I just took it outside, sprayed it with a layer of scotch guard and then let it dry. And then I sprayed it again with another layer. So I let it dry for probably about two hours and then I sprayed another layer and then I let it dry for at least like 24 hours before I carried the bag. I don't think you have to let things dry that long for scotch guard. It's just what I did. So. I have not had any issues. If I were to get something on this bag, like say if I bumped it into something, I would just try to wipe it down with a baby wipe. Um, Scotch Guard typically works very well <laughs> to help prevent staining on the bags or on any type of fabric. So if you've never tried Scotch Guard and you have a fabric bag, try out a small portion. So initially I sprayed it on the bottom just to make sure it didn't color change anything for me and it worked perfectly for me. So, um, that's what I did for this bag and it's holding up really, really well. So now I'm gonna switch views so you guys can see what can fit in both of these bags. So this portion is just to show you guys some typical items that would fit in this bag if you're thinking about getting the mini size. So first up, I do have my iPad and this is 
I don't know, just a regular iPad. It's not a pro or anything like that. But that will fit into the bag. Let me show you guys. So it will fit in there, but it's really not a great fit. It kind of takes up a lot of space, but in a pinch, I can throw it in the bag. So hopefully that gives you guys a good idea of the size. The other thing I have here that's large is a desk agenda from Louis Vuitton. I'll hold it up next to my iPad so you guys can see. It's a little bit smaller than the iPad, but it is still smaller, but definitely thicker. So I have definitely done this before. I can throw that in there. It does take up a lot of space and I could force it to zipper if I needed it to. So I can definitely zipper it if I needed it to. It doesn't stretch or anything, but for me, it takes up a little bit too much space in this bag. But if I need to just grab my agenda real quick and I'm carrying this bag as my purse of the day, then I can definitely stick it in there. Like I said, I typically use this for more like regular uh, purse stuff. So I have my toiletry pouch 19 from Louis Vuitton. Y'all have probably seen this in monogram. I don't have the monogram, but it's the same size. So this is the epi leather and this goes in here very easily. So if I was carrying like all my toiletries and all, I could put them in there, um, you know, whatever you want to carry. I'm also, I also have this Kirigami pouch from Louis Vuitton. This is the medium size. And this is what I have my um, like backup charger in. I don't always carry this with me, but if I need to, I can definitely carry this with me and still have plenty of space. I have sunglass holder with sunglasses in them. Well, actually I'll save that for last. So I have my wallet. It's actually empty right now, but even if it was full, it'll be basically the same size. So I'm gonna put that in there. I have my cell phone, which is an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and you can see that fits in there perfectly fine. And actually in this back pocket, it could slip right in there. So when I do carry it in the bag, I typically put it in the back pocket. So we'll just leave it back there for now. And because this is for show, I don't have my actual keys, but my keys are about the same size. This is a, um, what's this, a key holder from Louis Vuitton. Mine is super old, it's the very first one I got. I don't use it for pretty much anything anymore. But if I wanted to carry keys with me, this would be about the same size. So let's show it, show you in there. Definitely fits. And then my sunglasses, it definitely fit. So all of that is in there. That's way more than what I typically carry. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, but <laughs> there has been a lot of times where I'll just, you know, throw my essentials in there and then throw a water bottle on top. I fit a sweater into this bag. So it still fits a lot, even though it's a miniature size bag. And if I wanted to zip it, I can. I don't typically zip this bag, but it zips perfectly fine. Okay, so next we have the small. The first thing I'm gonna show y'all that fits is my laptop. So this laptop is super old. It's a MacBook Pro. And I don't know if it's the 13 inch size. I did measure it and it's about 12 and a half inches across. So I'm assuming this is a 13 inch size. I'm not sure when they call it a size if they measure by the screen or what. But anyway, this is what it looks like. <laughs> and it fits in there perfectly. I honestly have never carried it like this. Well, actually I think I have carried it in here one time, but it does fit in there perfectly. And I can zip it, I'll show you guys. So it still zips with it in there and I was able to slide it in there without having it to diagonal it. So still plenty of space in there. And like I said, my laptop is on the older side. So I think they are even smaller, like thinner definitely now and probably less heavy than what they were back when I got this. So of course, since you saw my laptop will fit, of course my iPad will fit perfectly. So typically if I need to go somewhere and take my iPad, that's when I carry this bag. Uh, but that'll fit in there perfectly along with my agenda. And then we'll just put all my same purse stuff back in there as well. So you guys can see, I believe it will all fit. So that was a toiletry case, wallet, charger, keys, cell phone. Now I will share with you guys, this one, the pocket actually has slots in it. Hopefully you can see, let me pull it out. So you can see this one has a zipper pocket and then it also has slots here. So on this one, I typically would just slide my phone in one, into one of these slots. 
but I can also put in a zipper pocket. So if you're carrying smaller items, just keep that in mind that it does have a zipper pocket. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So I got my phone in the slot. And then the last thing I have is my sunglasses. So that's what it looks like with all that stuff in there. So that's my iPad, my agenda, plus all my purse stuff. And yeah, I can still zip this bag. So zips perfectly fine. It is very heavy like this. I don't typically carry this much stuff, but just to let you guys know, if you are looking to carry this much stuff, it'll definitely fit. And this is the small size. So just for size reference, I wanted to show you guys some mod shots. I am about five foot four. I am on the bigger side. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like on me. I typically carry this bag handheld or like this, but I also crossbody this bag quite a bit. Let me show you that. So this is what the bag looks like crossbody on my frame. This strap is adjustable, so you can definitely push it down like to make it longer, or you can bring it up a little bit more as well. I carry it like on the middle, I believe, um, the middle adjustment. So this is what the bag looks like crossbody. So here's what the small looks like. Again, I typically carry this handheld just like this. I can definitely carry this on the crook of my arm. That's not my go-to, but I definitely could do it as long as it's not too heavy at the moment. And then I sometimes will put this on my shoulder or crossbody it, so I'll show you that real quick as well. So again, the strap is adjustable, so you can adjust it how you want. Um, but this is how it looks crossbody, not the typical way I carry it, but I can definitely crossbody if I need to. Most times if I'm out and I need to be hands-free, I will just put it on my shoulder like this so you can see what it looks like there. Again, I still think it looks better to be handheld, but I like that I like the convenience of having the strap in case I need to um, throw it on my shoulder real quick. So overall, I love both of these bags. I love the versatility. I love the look. I like how comfortable they are. And I think they're just really well made and worth the price tag. If I had to pick one, I mean, I love both. But if I had to pick one, I would go with the leather version just because I love the way the leather feels. And for me, the mini size is a better size for daily use. So I feel like I get a lot more use out of this bag. But I mean, you can't go wrong with having two sizes. Now they do come in a larger size. I have not seen that one in person or tried it, but I have seen it online and it is very cute. I believe Simply Kura has a larger version of this one. I'll try to find her video where she did like a mod shot sharing the larger size of this so you guys can see that. But if you're looking for a tote that will go over your shoulder, the larger one may work for you. So I'll try to link her video if I can find it. If not, I know she has an Instagram picture or something <laughs> featuring that bag. So I will definitely link that down below. And if I can find that one online, I will also link that as well. So if you guys have any questions about the bags, please let me know. I hope you found this video helpful and I am super happy that I took the chance and purchased these bags. I really am impressed with them. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this and follow me over on Instagram. I'm always sharing pictures of my bags in my stories and on my Instagram posts. So definitely check me out over there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.